In this video, we're going to make a coin flip simulator in Python. We'll create a function that when called, will randomly return either heads or tails. We'll import the random module in Python so we can use the choice method to return either heads or tails. So we'll call our function flip coin. And our flip coin function is going to return random dot choice. And we're gonna pass the choice method a list containing the strings heads and tails. So the choice method comes from the random module. And the way it works is it's going to return randomly one of the elements in the list that it's passed as an argument. So for example, here it's going to return heads or tails at random. Let's test out the function. We'll print out what we get back when we call flip coin. So we can save this and let's try running our program. We'll say Python d.py and we get tails. Let's try it a few more times. Heads, 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 tails. So it appears to be random whether we get back heads or tails. We could call the function in a loop to perform some number of flips. So for example, we could say for i in range 10 to perform 10 flips. We'll print out the results and we'll use some concatenation operations to specify which flip in the sequence has occurred. So we'll have flip and then we'll concatenate the string of i plus one, then we'll concatenate in a colon, and then we'll concatenate in the result of flipping the coin. So we'll save this and we'll give it a try. And we get flip one is tails, flip two is heads, and so on. And now we have a whole sequence of flips. We could also do something like prompt the user for how many coin flips they would like to occur. We could perform those coin flips and we could keep track of how many heads and how many tails occur. So the first thing we'll do is prompt the user for the number of flips that they want to occur. So we'll say flips is equal to int input flips colon. So the input function is going to prompt the user with the text flips. This string the user enters is going to be returned from input. We're going to convert it to an int with int here. And then we're going to store that value into flips. We'll make some variables to keep track of the total number of heads and total number of tails. So we'll say total heads is equal to zero and total tails is equal to zero. Then we'll perform the flips. So we'll say for i in range flips to perform flips number of flips. And then when we call flip coin, we're going to check to see if the result is heads. So we'll say if flip coin returns heads, then we're going to increment total heads by one because we have one more head coin flip. Otherwise, if it's not heads, we know that it's tails. And in that case, we're going to increment total tails by one. Then finally, we can print out the total number of heads and tails that occurred. So we'll say print total heads colon, and then we'll concatenate in the total number of heads. We'll also print out total tails colon, and again, we'll concatenate in the total number of tails that occurred. So we can save this, run our program. And if we enter in something like 20, we get total heads 12 and total tails eight. We could try it again. And this time we'll put in something more fun, like 1 million, and we'll see what happens. Now we get total heads of about 500,000 and total tails of about 500,000. So this is how we can make a coin flip simulator in Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.